This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by Freaking.com. Let's talk cop block and their interesting new endeavor. The early 20th century author G.K. Chesterton, Chesterton once said, Ideas are cheap, but what really counts is doing an idea. What Cop Block is doing now is sort of the realization, or the, the attempted realization, of an idea that's been kicking around for a long time. There was an article back in 2002 on antistate.com by Warren Tilson. It recommended the establishment of a freedom insurance institution. Tilson said, quote, What I am proposing is a system of insurance that if you are arrested on some political crime, lawyers will be dispatched as well as activists and propagandists. Unquote. Tilson correctly recognized that the first hurdle that such an organization would have to jump over, and the biggest hurdle, would be protecting itself. Well, copblock.org has instituted a program it calls copblock.org protection. Whether they read Tilson's article or not, they have essentially started doing, or trying to do, what Tilson had in mind. Although they seem to be missing the lawyer aspect. If you go to copblock.org slash protection, you'll see uh, that at least as of uh, early January, or some, some point during January 2013, they were already offering copblock.org protection memberships. For around $50 a month, they were promising to uh, come to your aid in the event that you got in trouble, uh, certain types of trouble anyway. They said they would provide a video, a media push, a social network push. They would gather information regarding your situation, or uh, presumably uh, this would involve background searches of the people who are coming after you. Uh, and they would have a man on the ground who would uh, be with you in person to assist with various stuff that you, you, you might need. So it seems like it was almost exclusively focused on uh, using the media and, uh, and their own publicity capability to uh, put pressure on anyone that comes after you for victimless crime, uh, if, if they're from the government anyway. However, Tilson's warning may have already borne fruit, this idea that you have to protect yourself first <laughs> as an organization doing this kind of thing. The uh, copblock.org slash protection is already uh, out of action in a sense. There, there's a message on the, the page that says, quote, this idea is currently on hold. You can review the information, but no memberships are being accepted at this time. If you're currently a member, Adamo will be in contact with you shortly and your membership services are still covered, unquote. So maybe I should say they're partially out of action. Now, I don't know if this was because they received uh, threats or if it was because they got too much uh, response, were overwhelmed with numbers. But they've taken, I think, this idea further than anyone else ever has toward being a reality. I think back around 2006, I experimented with the, the idea of doing something like this myself. I determined that the numbers weren't really adding up, uh, and then the Ridley Report took all the wind out of the sails of everything else I was looking at doing. So I didn't get very far with the idea. They, they've gotten further than I have. But one thing I would say, it seems like they, they, were, they will probably need, if they want to do something like this, they're going to need more than just the ability to, to provide media coverage. I think they need a more holistic approach. Uh, Tilson was on the money when, they, when he said they need lawyers involved in something like this. I like the way you put it. Lawyers will be dispatched, as well as activists and propagandists. You need a mix of all three, probably. Something else to keep in mind is that you, um, you don't want to just have someone trying to generate media. You, it would be better if you had someone uh, besieging the offices of the people who have arrested you, peaceably besieging. Uh, but you know, uh, the idea is if you if you get arrested and you're covered by, you know, some kind of freedom insurance organization, the arrest is for a victimless crime. Well, not only do you have a lawyer immediately springing to action, not only do you have 
attempts at drawing media coverage to your grievances, but you've also got protesters on the scene quickly. To their credit, copblock.org is not promising the lawyers or the the active, the, you know, the, the protesters, which maybe they, I don't know if they can deliver that yet. Uh, they're not promising it. But I think probably need, they're going to need to get to a point where they can and where they can deliver it. Again, if they move forward with this project, which again, they don't really seem to be moving forward with it right now. I, I mean, the fact that they've gotten to the point where they, there are some people who are already covered, I guess they're going to have to move forward on those folks. So something's going to happen with this. It's just, it's good to see someone taking something from the idea phase to the action phase. Even if this fails, uh, all of us will learn a lot from it, and the next attempt will probably be more successful. Uh, the guys at Cop Block seem to have been pretty effective at generating media for you know whatever concerns they have, uh, and uh, in court they've had some success. Uh, it's mixed, uh, but definitely they've had uh, they've had some success. They seem to be a little bit of a magnet for cop attention. So I'm not sure if they are the guys that you turn to to try and avoid cop attention. <laughs> My take on them is that they tend to slightly overplay their hand here and there, which causes the government to massively overplay its hand, in which case the government gets slapped down. They're doing pretty well. Um, They've taken some pains uh, to make clear that they can't get you out of a ticket, they can't make a prosecution stop, but they, uh, they want to make sure that you're not alone. Now, one critique I have uh, is the name of the organization, um, calling it copblock.org protection. Well, protection sounds a little bit too much like protection racket, right? I mean, it just makes it, it it's, it's uh, not the best choice of words, because obviously there are people out there that, that have misused the word protection and sort of <laughs> dragged it down as so many other words have been dragged down. On the other hand, I'm almost never in favor of changing names, so <laughs> I guess they're kind of stuck with it. But um, we'll see. I mean, they've obviously run into some kind of hurdle or something is slowing them down or stopping them because of this disclaimer that just appeared on their website. So we'll see where this goes. I'm glad there's uh, at least some some something new to talk about. Someone's trying something new to uh, limit the state. You can find out more directly at copblock.org slash protection. And if you want to read the article that, that uh, sort of got this idea rolling initially, this concept uh, from 2002, then just look at the video description. I've posted a link. What are you arresting this man for? You've seen the dramatic liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keene's advantages are compelling and the list of reasons to move has just been updated. For details visit freekeen.com